Hello, this is Rashi Sahai and you're watching Medi Circle. Today on our Health Guest Startup Series, we have Pramod Kutti with us. Pramod Kutti is the co-founder and CEO of Connect to My Doctor, based in Melbourne, Australia. Connect to My Doctor, a comprehensive telehealth startup which utilizes technology to deliver high-quality healthcare online. Connect to My Doctor addresses multiple use cases of connecting tertiary and primary care remote patients try it, home care, ambulatory care, and direct-to-consumer telehealth. Welcome to MediCircle, Mr. Pramod. Hey, Rashi, how are you? Thanks for having me here. So, as the co-founder of Connect to My Doctor, can you please tell us more about your telehealth care startup? Um, so, we started in 2015-16 primarily um, with the objective of uh, having a tele, uh, have a technology solution to bridge the gap between patients and doctors. And um, and that's how we looked at you know creating a platform called Connect to My Doctor. So just as the name goes, the platform enables patients all across the world to connect with um, doctors. So it is a fully white label platform that we offer. Um, so we work with hospitals across India, UAE, Bahrain, Turkey, um, and we're also the official uh, telemedicine provider for uh, HPI which is the Association of Healthcare Providers in India, who's got around 20,000 plus um, you know, member hospitals. So the platform is comprehensive, like you just mentioned. So the way we look at it is that we have um, you know, telemedicine, which is primarily from a video consultation prescription. It, is, it, it manages everything. Um, and so we're looking at that as a vertical, as a horizontal, and then we're building, you know, various modules on top of it, from end remote patient monitoring, home care, uh, tele rehabilitation, all of that. So, what is the USP of Connect to My Doctor over other telehealth startups like M Fine and MediBuddy? So, um, so from a plat, so we've gone with the platform approach, and 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 it is completely to enable the hospitals, you know, that we work with. So, from a USP perspective, it is the approach that we've gone ahead with from an um, you know product and service offering to the hospitals, and each of these hospitals that we work with have got you know various options to go out and you know work with um, with, with many of the providers, like you mentioned. So they have evaluated all of these platforms and chosen to work with us because of our, you know, technical capabilities, uh, overall platform offering, products and features and functionalities, um, you know, the overall, the customer focus that we have, right? So in terms of the uh, overall offering that we uh, provide and, you know, specifically in terms of looking at having solutions which are suitable for the hospitals, um, you know, it just, you know, gives them the flexibility to work with, you know, um, you know, various institutions. So that way it makes it, um, you know, quite unique. And that's the same thing that happened with the as well. When HPA were evaluating platforms for their member hospitals. So they looked at our platform, they did a technical evaluation, they launched the platform with, uh, we did a couple of trials with partner hospitals. Um, they got great feedback and that's how they went ahead and selected us uh, as their preferred telehealth platform. Okay. So, can you tell us about how many lives have you done so far? So, we, you know, since the start, we have you know supported patients across fifteen plus fifteen to twenty plus countries, and these are patients who are looking to get access to um, specialists for first time consultations, second opinions, follow up visits, um, you know, and, and and medical tourism patients as well. So patients co uh, book appointments with a doctor, come in and get treatment done, and then they you know go back uh, to wherever they belong and have their follow up consultations on the platform. So yeah, so over twenty plus fifteen to twenty plus countries. So we've you know supported patients from there. So recently, Connect to My Doctor launched an AR patient education module. So can you tell us more about this? So um, you know, thanks for. That question it is it is um it's a very important um you know uh, feature from an you know roadmap perspective of ours so like i was saying earlier the way we are now looking at you know this whole telemedicine um options is to be looking at telemedicine as a horizontal and we are building you know verticals on top of it so care which is the uh, 3d and augmented reality platform is uh, works as a horizontal which will be relevant for across uh, all the verticals so what it what it does is that you know we've always been asked questions on 
how we can you know um have patient education done during these teleconsults right so the i and 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 physically when you go in to meet a doctor they would have an you know a model and they would show you where exactly the problem is and you know they can touch and feel and things like that so here what we've done is that we have built an uh, a particular feature which the hospitals can use for uh, both inpatient visits and out uh, during telecalls they could you have 3d models and you know for a particular body part go ahead and explain where actually the problem is and then go ahead and help the patient make those decisions in some of the use cases where we work with the hospitals patients just just in case of an a small surgery like an appendix right so patients have prolonged those treatments saying that no no i i want to avoid the surgery and um, you know unless you take an um, you know an ultrasound or anything of that kind and then explain to the patient they used uh, our platform and then showcase using 3d models on where exactly the problem is and how worse it is and that enabled the patients to go ahead and um, you know take the decision to get further treatments so the feedback has been very positive they have you know some of the um you know very core specializations like neuro neurosurgery um you know cardiology so they have looked at it and said that it makes it a lot more easier to explain to patients where exactly the problem is and things like that so according to the recent prospect insights and analytics survey 45.2% of people refer to visit a family doctor so uh, like what are your views on the current telemedicine industry scenario post covid um you know during the pandemic the obviously the video consultations went up because patients were not having options to you know go to an hospital but post pandemic the the consultation numbers have come down because patients have started to go in and visit the doctors in, per, in person now what is that what that has also led to is that uh, patients are now exposed to a newer medium of um communication with the doctor they are okay to um you know make payments online get a prescription online things of that kind and it is also open them to you know using newer tools like you know digital health devices to share their um you know blood pressure online and you know, having it monitored by a nurse and a doctor online and things of that kind so that's the direction that we are taking we see the next 5 years for telehealth to be very very different from the previous 5 years So in March 2020 India made an important landmark in its digital health journey by completing 170000 teleconsultations in a single day through its nationwide telemedicine service so what are your goals and future expansion plans so from our perspective um, you know we will continue to grow in areas um, you know with working with hospitals across the geographies that i mentioned so we are more deep going more deep into uh india the uae uh, and africa from a geography perspective from a product perspective we are focusing on remote patient monitoring um home care and tele rehabilitation so can you share your experience regarding your entrepreneurship journey <laughs> so uh um entrepreneurship is uh, is fun um but it is it it has its own you know set of challenges it's not a bed of roses at all um you know for somebody who gets um a good income to leave the job and you know uh to run a business pay salaries to people um and has it is very very challenging right so apart from just you know yourself you need to have a great team and um and family if if you're married and you have family to support you you need to have support from you know all of them including you know in my case my children also support me wherever it is required so they help me out with little data entry jobs wherever it is you know required and things like that so it is um it is tough but uh, on the other side it is very satisfying you know you're you know you're able to you know make real difference to people's lives and um, you know one biggest fear you know um uh, strength that we have and you know I have as uh, as an individual and which I would definitely recommend is the um is all entre- entrepreneurs or budding entrepreneurs should be persistent um you know it is not easy you're not going to get an answer uh, immediately for yes 
Um, so you just need to be persistent, keep knocking on the doors. You know, if you believe in your product, you know, shamelessly go to whatever extent to, you know, getting those things, um, you know, across. So be passionate about it, um, you know, be positive, you know, get a break. It's not just, um, you know, one thing I was advised is that it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So it's not just about, you know, running very fast and finishing it. You just need to ensure that you're ready for the next day as well. So it is exciting, uh, but it has its own challenges as well. It's not a bed of roses for sure. Thank you so much, Mr. Pramod, for coming to our show and sharing your valuable time and insights with us at MediCircle. It has been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you very much, Rashi, for having me. Thank you. So